Hello and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Yoni. I am from Graphic Tutorial Division, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to create 3D cube effect in two ways in Adobe Illustrator. So let's begin and open the program, create a new document, and go to File New. I will choose A4 and Landscape. Okay. Now, for the first way, I want to create a rectangle and click on the rectangle tool. Press Shift to create the rectangle proportionally. Okay. In the right side, I want to add a color. If you don't have the colors panel in the right side and the properties panel, go to window and check color and check properties. Okay, now on this rectangle, I don't want stroke and uh, click on this icon and click on none. Okay, now for the 3D cube effect, click on the rectangle, go to effect, go to 3D and go to extra than bevel. Now in this panel, you have many options and uh, we go to, to extra depth. I want to increase the, the point to 300 points, press tab to see the, the preview, check on the preview option, ok, now we can um, adjust this, uh, this position and with this arrow we can uh, click and drag, click and drag the, the cube or we can click and drag to see the top part of the cube, ok. We have more options if you want to play with this, uh, these options, the light, the highlight, the size, the shading color. Okay, but I want to, uh, to leave this uh, for now, these options and um, click on OK. I want to decrease the, the size of this cube and press Shift and Alt to reduce the size. On this uh, way to, to create a 3D cube, you can change the color, but the color is changes for uh, all part of this cube because it's one shape. You can uh, change the color, part of the color is changes to all the all the cube. In the second way, I want to show you the, the second way to create a 3D cube effect. And in the left side, go to the polygon tool, click on polygon tool and uh, press shift to create the, this polygon tool press shift and I want to rotate to 90 degree okay now I want to split this uh, this polygon in six parts and click on the line segment click on the line segment and I want to split for one on vertically I want to split now in diagonally and uh, you can uh, check to to be the anchor point on the corner okay if you want to move this anchor point click on control and move this uh, this anchor point now I want to, to drag this in this part of the line and move this to, to the corner with control and uh, can move this, uh, this line. And now in the layers panel, click on layers panel, go to window and check layers panel if you don't have. Click on the layers panel and you can see this three line. Check the, the lines, go to object, go to path and click on join. We have grouped the, this uh, this line and with the path selected, go to object, go to path and go to divide object below. Click on divide object below and now we have divided the polygon in six parts. You can see the polygon is divided in six parts and press Ctrl Z to undo. And now I want to group two parts, group of the, the first part. This go to Pathfinder on the properties panel and click unite the first uh, shape. Okay. Now in the colors panel, we can increase a little the, the color. Now with this part, I want to unite and I want to change a little the color. And with the second parts, I want to go to Pathfinder and click on unite. And now I want to increase a little the, the color on this, on this part. And on this way, we create the 3D cube effect with the part individually. And we can change the color of each part of this, uh, of this cube. Okay. This was the tutorial for how to create 3D cube effect in two ways in Adobe Illustrator. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.